श्री गुरुभ्यो नम नमस्सर्वे आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू द सेवेंथ सेशन ऑफ देवनागरी स्क्रिप्ट फॉर सैंस्क्रिप्ट नाउ आई इनवाइट पार्टिसिपेंट्स टू रीड सम सेंटेंसेस वंस मोर What is this? Pratah. Hmm. Utishtas. Hmm. Satyam bada. Hmm. Dharma chara. Hmm. Sodam kya kya ja. Hmm. Okay. Alasyam. Can you read this again? Prakruti. What is this? Kru. Kru. It has to be soft. Kru. I add. Okay. Whereas pr, you have to put little pra. more. Um, there is more friction while you say r, and less friction when you say the vowel r. So that has to reflect. Here it is pr, and this is kru. Prakrutim. Can you read? Prakrutim. 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 Yeah. Prakrutim. Mahalaya. Swadesham raksha. Sanskritam vada. Satyam jayati na anrutam. Again, you are putting more. Uh, uh, it uh, it has to be more soft. It should not be with so much friction. Okay. Anjatam. Anjatam. That's it. Okay. Vidya dadati vinayam. Mm. Okay. Lopo muliam. Huh? Anarpa. What is this? Lopo mulam. Hmm. धर्मो धर्मो What is this? Harti. You are seeing like uh, if it was Harti, how will we write? You know, we will write like this. Harti. Ha! Huh, exactly. If what you have said, we have to write, then this is Harti. This is Harati. Okay. Hmm. How will you read this? Sure. 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 Hmm. Entire sentence. Can you repeat? Swarga. What is this? What is this part? Swarga. Swarga. The P. Ha. Swarga. The P. Swarga. The P. Gariya P. Hmm. Parokara punya ya apa ya perjalanan. So how will you read this part? Parupakar, and what is this symbol? Oh, in a short. 
so we just saw that this is upadmaniya because there was a visarga and it is being followed yes. by p so it will be yes. paropakar punnyaya f sound paropakar punnyaya this sound has to come paropakar what is this papaya 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 parthidanam what is this parthidanam if what you are saying is what i have to write then i will not write this here instead what i will do is i'll put a c curve on the top like this oh so yes the last one dukham tyaj 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 dukham tyaj yes okay so let me read all these sentences shri gurubhyo namaha swasti pratah uttishth satyam vad dharmam chara क्रोधम त्यज आलस्य मा कुरु प्रकृतिं पालय स्वदेशं रक्ष संस्कृतं वद सत्यं जयति न अनृतं विद्या ददाति विनयं लोभो मूलं अनर्थानां धर्मो रक्षति रक्षितः जाड्यं धियो हरति विद्वान् सर्वत्र पूज्यते जननी जन्मभूमिश्च स्वर्गादपि गरीयसी परोपकारः पुण्याय पापाय परपीडनम् दुःखं त्यज ओके सो ओ देयर इज वन मोर कैन यू रीड दिस ओ या देयर इज टू संस्कृत संस्कृतम जयतु भारतम जयतु संस्कृतम जयतु भारतम ओके सो देन राइट सो आई वांट पीपल टू रीड कैन यू रीड अच्युतम केशवम राम नारायणम कृष्ण दामोदरम नायक मन शिव मार्ग प्रमेतरम शिव मार्ग प्रमेतरम तरम दिस इज तरम तरम प्रणेतारम संस्कृतम् 
ವಂದೇ ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತ ಮಾತರ ಅಚ್ಯುತ ಕೇಶವ ರಾಮನಾರಾಯಣ ಕೃಷ್ಣದಾಮೋದರ ವಾಸುದೇವ ಭಜೇ ಶ್ರೀಧರ ಮಾಧವ ಗೋಪಿಕಾವಲ್ಲಭ ಜಾನಕೀನಾಯಕ ರಾಮಚಂದ್ರ ಭಜೇ ದೆನ್ ಶಿವ ಶಿವಕರ ಶಾಂತ ಶಿವಾತ್ಮನ ಶಿವೋತ್ತಮ ಶಿವಮಾರ್ಗ ಪ್ರಣೇತಾರ ಪ್ರಣತೋಸ್ಮಿ ಸದಾಶಿವ ಪಠಾಮಿ ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತ ನಿತ್ಯ ವದಿ ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತ ಸದಾ ಧ್ಯಾಮಿ ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತ ಸಮ್ಯಕ್ ವಂದೇ ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತ ಮಾತರ ಓಕೆ ಸೋ ಕೆನ್ ಯು ರೀಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಓಂ ಸ್ವಸ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಜಾಭ್ಯ ಪರಿಪಾಲಯಂತ ಗೋಬ್ರಾಹ್ಮಣೇಭ್ಯಶುಭಮಸ್ತು ನಿತ್ಯ ಪೃಥ್ವಿ ಸಸ್ಯಶಾಲಿನಿ ಕ್ಷೋಭರಹಿತ ಬ್ರಾಹ್ಮಣ ಸಂತು ನಿರ್ಭಯ ಸೊ 
सो ओम स्वस्ति प्रजाभ्य परिपालयता न्यायेन मार्गेन मही महेशा गोब्राह्मणेभ्य शुभमस्तु नि लोकास्मस्तासुखिनो काले वर्षत पर्जन्य पृथ्वी सस्यशालिनी देशोय क्षोभरहित ब्राह्मण सन्त निर्भया ओके सो हियर एट दिस पॉइंट लेट मी समराइज व्हाट वी हैव कवर्ड इन दीज सेवन सेशंस ओके सो वी स्टार्टेड विद द अक्षरमाला एंड वी हैव डन द vowels and then the consonants and among the vowels we saw that we can based on the time taken to articulate the vowel we can uh, categorize them as short vowels rasva swaraha and then the dirgha swaraha the long vowels and then these are all the um, these are all the consonants uh, that we saw so there are uh, uh 15 that is 13 plus 2 uh, the uh, visarga and the anuswara totally 15 vowels and then 33 of these consonants totally 48 uh, we have completed the entire akshara mala then we saw the matras that uh, uh, represent these swara and the, how the combination of the consonant with the swara results in these gunita aksharani and we learned about uh, the uh, anuswara and visarga that they always uh, combine to a mm, swara and not directly to the consonant and uh, likewise we have uh, uh, we have done the oral exercises where we covered the gurita aksharani for all the 33 consonants so we did all this okay so among the con- uh, conjunct consonants uh, we saw that there are certain forms which can be written vertically which can be written horizontally so for example uh, with the nakara we get uh, two forms like we get uh, this vertical also and the horizontal one also for the uh, rounded ones also we have many which can be written vertically uh, one below the other uh, and uh we can also write with uh, horizontal fashion and here in chakara if you see uh you can write uh, in um two ways so all those uh, we had covered in yesterday's class and today's class so we have all these listed uh, so these are only uh, the consonant uh, plus consonant that is dvitvam only two consonants coming together likewise we can like today we saw that more than 3 can also join together and we gave some example where we have five uh, uh, consonants coming together so like uh, all those possibilities do exist it is just one glimpse of uh, uh, dvitva aksharam dvitva aksharam is a sanyukta aksharam where only two consonants are joined together so this is the possibilities for that so uh, uh so uh, at this point um, there is a point i must mention that uh, there is nothing to argue about or agree upon the pronunciation of sounds uh, the sounds are a natural consequence of how the mouth is organized so different uh, paramparas have different ways of pronouncing and one must follow their uh, um, their guru's uh, parampara so Uh, because uh, in the ancient uh, times it was uh, the knowledge was passed orally uh, in the gurukula from the guru to the shishya so that is why uh, each parampara will have a different way of pronouncing so uh, we have to if we are associated with uh, our guru then we have to follow what the guru uchcharana means and what the guru guides us and um, okay um so sanskrit as uh, you all know most of you at least will be knowing that uh, it has many names like girvani bharati adi bhasha deva bhasha etc so deva bhasha literally means the language of gods and if something is 
fit to be used by the gods and it must be perfect in every aspect so um, with whatever little knowledge i have gained from my gurus uh, and i have tried to express and explain during these seven uh, sessions of our class um if i was unable to clear doubts then it is my failure and not the dosha of my uh, of the shastram or my gurus it does not reflect upon them also uh, this uh, this is this uh, this i want to make sure that if it is not reaching it uh, reaching out to you it is my fault uh, okay and uh, here i must also thank ashok sir for um, considering me fit to take these classes and also um, this patanam lekhanam class is beginning of the journey of learning sanskritam may uh, sanskrita mata bless us all and thank you for your active participation so let me close the session with a prayer om sarve bhavantu sukhinah सर्वे सन्तु निरामया सर्वे भद्राणि पश्यन्तु मा कश्चित् दुःख भाग भवेत् ओम शान्ति 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 धन्यवादः